I dredged up a little childhood trauma about getting bullied last week, and we had uh, Dane comment on YouTube and tell his story, mm-hmm. too. Thank you for that, brother, and I'm sorry that happened to you. No. And um, I think when I was talking to Abby, she mentioned Owen taking some flack from some kids at school. But also, kids are so mean, and he's such a good guy. Yeah. He doesn't deserve that. But I thought of Those the- Those ex- kids are jerks. <laughs> I thought of the expression, hurt people, hurt people. And I want to tell you a story, since I told a story about being bullied and the fall, how I handled that poorly, <laughs> um, and the fallout from that right. in my own personal life, I thought I'd share one more bully story that has an interesting ending. Mm-hmm. So in school, I had three bullies, memorably, maybe a few others, who were all, all had the same name. I'm not going to yes. say their names. <laughs> you know their names. I do. <laughs> and you know what became of one of them. I do. One of them just ended up being an average dude. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's been driving for UPS since the 90s. Mm-hmm. And I think he's just, he's a dude bro. Okay. You know, every post he's holding a beer at a, some sort of sporting event. Uh, and, and I'm friends with yeah. all of them on Facebook, by the way. Which is sort of funny. There was that great friend rush of 2010. Right, where everyone became everyone's friend on yeah. Facebook if you vaguely knew No them. matter what. Yeah. And in, in fact, here's a sidebar to my story, which is uh, my buddy Brad, mm-hmm. B twice, talked about his 10th year high school reunion and how even when, when you go to one of those things and see somebody you haven't seen in 10 years, even if you had bad, have bad memories of them, you kind of go, oh, hey. Right. You know, we went through a thing together. Yeah. We were both kids, both stupid. Right, right. And I, hey, it's good to see you. Mm-hmm. It, it just kind of, time does heal all wounds. Yeah. So here's my story. So out of the three bullies, all with the same name, one of them's just a dude, bro, and I probably took something too personally. One of them is a horrible, horrible felon who has done horrible, horrible things. Yeah. It was 20 years ago, but- Whoa. Yeah. Let's just say he's on a few national registries. Yeah. Okay. The third one actually started supporting me on social media when I got my real estate career going. And I thought, oh, that's, that's cool. that's cool. Messaged him. Uh, he said, hey, I'll buy a house from you. Great. That's awesome. And then he said, hey, sorry if I was a dick to you in high school. Oh, that's nice. And I was like, forget about it, bro. Yeah. You know mm-hmm. the expression, hurt people, hurt people? Right. And I don't think that's always true. Mm-hmm. I've seen hurt people... Just make darn sure they never hurt another person and make another person feel how they were made to feel. Right. But then I've also seen hurt people hurt people. hmm So a couple summers ago, I had a buddy going through AA. And so I joined him for a few meetings. Mm. Hey, pro tip, if you ever need a friend to go somewhere with you on a weekday, call a real estate agent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If we don't have any showings and I'm not busy, you know, with the show here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, honestly. We'll so a guy stood up, an old dude, mm-hmm. with a real sad look on his face, Oof. stood up. Uh-huh. Because, you know, in AA, you talk about why you got sober. Right. And he stood up and just had the saddest story. He was drinking, and he just mistreated his kids, and he knew it. And you could almost see it on his face, mm-hmm. see it in his countenance, even though... He had been sober for like 25 years. Mm -hmm. He was standing up there telling his story, just wallowing in guilt. Mm -hmm. And I didn't think much of the story. I thought, well, I'm I'm glad he got sober. Good for him. Right. Later, I saw bully number three post a family reunion picture. And standing right next to him Mm -hmm. was that man from AA. Oof. And I realized... Hurt people, hurt people. (laughs) He had just a shitty childhood growing up with an alcoholic father. Mm -hmm. Never would have known that had I not gone with a friend to that meeting. Yeah. And look, if you're a kid who's getting bullied currently, that doesn't help. I know. Right. But maybe you could. I learned to fight back with my mouth mostly. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Um, But maybe you could say... Hey, buddy, everything okay at home? Or something. If you can do it non-sarcastically and actually care, I don't know. Yeah. But that, that uh, I wanted to share that story. That sh- sort of shows the other side of bullying. Yeah. Yeah.